I did, after having my cappuccino and cornetto, a little sketch with the pencil, but my plan here is to have a sketch that's very minimalistic. And then I'll go over this pen. But this allowed me to make some choices. For example, as you can see, I have shortened that wall so that I could fit this other building that I'm not sure what it is, but it was interesting to me. Um, so, you know, you can make choices, pick what you want. It doesn't have to be photographic. So I'm going to move on and do the um, pen drawing and show you that. So the bar got kind of busy, so I figure I'll walk around Ravello and show you some of the sights. This is the town. That's our bar. These beautiful umbrella pines. And that's the Duomo. And that's the tower I'm sketching with this. It has these big cypresses and the um, <coughs> that building, that side building. And what I did here is I with my pen, which is a fountain pen, Lamy Safari, filled with noodler ink, Lexington Gray, I went over and defined better some of my uh, pencil sketch and made some choices like, you see how short that wall is and how much longer it is there, but I really wanted to fit that in my sketchbook is tiny. Um, so I changed things. It doesn't matter. You really should, I think you should sketch what you enjoy and not necessarily what's out there. Um, so uh, I waited until the ink dried completely before erasing the pencil marks and now I'm waiting for the ink to dry even more before I go in with color. So this is my typical sketching setup. I have these Nalgene tiny um, water containers that I can trust not to spill all over my bag. I have a travel brush by Skoda, a, um, an eraser, a pencil, mechanical pencil, my um, Safari Lamy fountain pen. I usually have some kind of napkins like these I think are from France but you can find them in the States and I use that to dry and um, and to dry my brush. There. I have my husband here. <laughs> and these are my um, handmade watercolors that I'm using on this trip. And this is a sketch I made. And I usually start with the sky so that it has a chance to dry. And then I do a light uh, pass over most of the painting, except for the parts that I want to leave white. And today, the nice thing about the uh, wind is that the first pass dried very fast so I could get right on to the next one where I do some detail like the leaves on the trees and the stones on the on the tower and the other building and the little flowers. So I am at the most iconic of views of Ravello. Not sure what the name of the church is, and I'm sitting on the ground here, surrounded by tourists. And I started with a very loose sketch, and I'm going to go now over with pencil. With pen. So I'm still here. I went over the pencil sketch with my Mami Safari pen. And um, I'm going to go over it now with watercolor. At the, at the view and my setup. They're building a beautiful stage there. Can you imagine going to a concert here? They're building as they started Ravello Concert Festival on um, the 30th. And I've had a very, um, <laughs> I've had a very um, good audience Hello. here. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Who patiently watched me paint this little scene. 
and I was sitting here on the dirty ground but it was worth it and I had my water which is now quite dirty and I'm gonna throw it out and my travel brush that I have since closed so because the weather was wonderful and sunny and warm and windy the first layer dried really fast and I was able to do a second layer quickly so I hope you enjoyed mostly the scenery I'm not able to uh, talk while sketching because there's a lot of people here including my husband who has patiently waited um, the Amalfi Coast and I'm very lucky to be here right above the bell tower that MC Escher really enjoyed and if you see his drawing of it it's taken from the other side of it and you see this very stairway here but you only see the banister of it and then that medieval tower that I'm going to have the presumption to try and sketch. So I did a very simple pencil drawing that I'm going to go over with pen. This is just a very basic um, sketch of where the different bits should go. I'm going to start with what normally would be the sky but in this case it's sea because we're up high and the blue behind the bell tower it's the blue of the Mediterranean Sea. So I use my light blue, which is a primary blue. I call it winter, but obviously that name is not very appropriate for this. And then I use some of the ultramarine that I call Adirondack. But Again, my Vermont inspired colors don't fit so well for this view. And because it's a beautiful sunny and breezy day, things are drying nicely. So I can do a second layer over the yellow without it bleeding all over the place. going to stop here. So I thought I'd review briefly the three sketches that I did in Ravello and the first one on the piazza. Um, I like the composition. I am not crazy about how dark this came. I'm going to try and lighten it up a little bit. And I also don't like these leaves are, I don't know, too big. It just went too dark, too fast. Other than that, 
This is kind of nice. I like the little flowers and I like the shape of the tower. And I like how these little uh, suggestion of stones came out. I think it's the first time I did that and I like it. With this one, I like it. This is too dark. And I don't like what I did here. I don't know why I did that. Um, but again, the composition is not mine. It's the Amalfi Coast, courtesy of the Amalfi Coast. And I think in general, I like it. I like the colors. I like the contrasts. This one probably needs something brighter here. Unfortunately, I didn't have the right color, but maybe another layer with some definition. Um, and I like it. I think it captures that tower is very hard to draw because it's octagonal up here and then hexagonal and then <laughs> uh, square. So it's a little bit tricky. Uh, so I just tried to capture the suggestion of it. So I hope you enjoyed following me along in these sketches in Rabello. I don't consider myself a master of sketching by any stretch of the imagination, but I just hope to encourage others to do it because it is really a lovely way to see better the world and the space and the places that we find ourselves in. So that is my main objective.